Paul Abile Pogba landing in Turin today for his medical ahead of his announcement as a new Juventus player. Andio Di Maria alive race arrived yesterday. He's undergoing his medical today and everything is going to be announced either today or tomorrow. Or it must be a double announcement of Paul Abile Pogba and Anger Di Maria. Then, Stephen Bergwijn, deal to Ajax completed. There is a very bad, bad, bad blood between Neymar Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi at PSG that has forced PSG to go in at Lazio to go at Napoli to go in and really get in that striker. Is it Salamanca in there for you to come in to PSG? Because one of those, either Messi or Neymar, is leaving. But most especially Neymar is leaving. It's really boiling in PSG. Then Victor Oshman back onto the market. Bayern Munich looking at him as the ideal replacement of Lewandowski as Lewandowski nears a move to a side which goes by names of Barcelona. And Ansu Fati returns back to training of Barcelona fully fit. Remember, he has been disturbed by injuries for like two years that made him even miss the Euros in here onto Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, do this. Go into the lower right bottom corner. Smash the subscription button. After smashing it, hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel of ours in there for you. Now, today... We are really geared up our first video of the day. Today we start with Steven Bergwijn in there for you. Steven Bergwijn is a player who was played at Tottenham Hotspur and it looks like he was out of Antonio Conte's plans after bringing in Kulseski, uh, Richardson, mm, Song Hyun Min is present. They've brought in Perisic. And that meant that he is out of the plans of the manager. And they really agreed a deal with the side which goes by the names of Ajax. And finally, the player has left and everything is done. It's a 30 million euro deal completed in there for you. Fabrizio Roman has gone ahead to confirm that in here onto our channel, which goes by the names of Rokani Media Football. So we wish him all the best at Ajax in there for you. Remember, Ajax has just lost its, its coach who goes by the names of... Who goes, who goes by the names of Eric Ten Hag to Manchester United. And as we speak now, he is the current permanent manager of Manchester United in there for use. When you look at Ajax, they've already lost in to a team which goes by the names of Manchester United. And they wouldn't want to go on to lose any other players in there for you because they've lost many and they're trying to bring in others. David Neres left. Onana left. Mazrui left. Mm. Lizandro Martinez is leaving. Talfico is leaving the left back. Um, Gravan Bach left. They are almost losing their team. Sebastian Haller left. So they are trying to get back players that are really going to get their team back to where it's supposed to be. So, do Steven Bergwijn to Ajax. It has been completed and the player has been unveiled as a new Ajax player. Now we have been a story coming in from Javi Miguel Club. He says... Ansu Fati is back. He is 100% fit now and it seems that he has fully left behind his injuries. The reason why I brought this story in is one of these players that I really saw very much young. He made his debut for Barcelona at the age of 16 with the likes of Macy's area for you. He had really become one of those those undroppable players at Barcelona but injuries costed him his career to an extent that he missed out the Euros that we recently concluded last year where Spain really were knocked out in the semi-finals in there for him by a team which goes by the name of Italy but to me I will attribute all that to the poor medics all medicals that were all medical personnel at Barcelona that's why when Xavi came in what he did first was to chase them away and brought in new ones that's why you saw Osman Dembele for the very first time ever since he came in at Barcelona he played 19 consecutive games. 19 consecutive games. Without getting an injury, without walking off the pitch injured, because he was really treated thoroughly by the new medical personnel that Javi brought in. So this was a benefit for a man who goes by the name of Ansu Fati. And they really sat with the national team coach of Spain in there for you. And they said that, Let's give him enough time. Let's not hurry him back on the field of play until he 100% heals. So, 
My question is, Ansu Fati is back, Lewandowski is coming in, Rafinha is coming in, Osman Dembele is staying, Ferran Torres is available. What is going to be the ideal front three of Barcelona, according to me? To me, I really believe that Aubameyang is off the grief. Ansu Fati can't be benched because he comes in for La Masia. You get? So, either Osman Dembele or Rafinha, one of those is going to be playing from the bench. That's what I'm really thinking. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I really believe that with the return of Ansu Fati, you get? He has to be among the front three. And he plays off the left attacking side of the forward line. You get? That left flank, that's where he plays. So, Ferran Torres has to has to tussle it out with a player who goes by the name of Ansu Fati. Aubameyang with Lewandowski. Rafinha with Osman Dembele. So, we wait and see how that is really going to happen in there. But good news for Barcelona fans all over the world that Ansu Fati is really back. One of the prospects, I really thought that by now he would have been one of the best talents in the world. And in the battle of Erling Haaland and Mbappe, because I really believe that Messi and Ronaldo, that's out. It's going to be very hard to see Messi and Ronaldo stepping on the podium again. It's always going to be Kylian Mbappe, Erin Haaland, and I thought that Ansu Fati was going to be into this. But let's wait and see how this season is going to go for him and how he's going to perform in the World Cup. Because I will believe that in the next 10 years, these three players are really going to be so much pivotal. That is Ansu Fati, Mm, Leva, sorry, Ansu Fati, Erin Haaland and Mbappe. The other player I had in my mind was Mason Greenwood of Manchester United, but he really got certain problems, you know. He's on bail over allegations of rape and sexual assault, not over allegations of sex, sex assault on his wife and beating and beating her badly. So that's where I really dropped off, but I really had very high feelings and very high prospects for Mason Greenwood that with his talent and the team where he was playing at and because likes like Edson Cavan was going to make way for him to go and start leading the line and the number of goals he was scoring with a coming in of a manager like Eric Ten Hag I really thought that Greenwood was going to be a very good player and he would have really reached those levels let's pray to it that he really he is really proved innocent and then he returns at Manchester United in there for you. So, Ansu Fati, after that Ansu Fati story, we get to this. Victor Oshman from Nigeria could leave Napoli in the event of mega offer this summer. Chelsea striker Amado Broja is considered a potential replacement for the Nigerian striker by Napoli. Now, this is Alfredo. Peldia, and of course he comes in from Italy and he has close to 300,000 followers on Twitter and he's saying that Bayern Munich Bayern Munich are looking at Victor Oshman that's it, it's all over you get? and they now know that he might leave and Bayern Munich are ready to break the bank because they've told Barcelona we want 40 million euros for Lewandowski. When they get those 40 million euros, they'll get that money and add on more 60 million euros and they pay it to Napoli. Remember, the Risaginabri is up for sale and they might be selling other players in there for you. So it looks like Bayern are really going in hard to spend. Remember, they're also in the battle to bring in Matthias Delit. He's valued at 100 million euros. So Two players could cost Bayern Munich 200 million euros and I really believe that they have that money. Remember, they've only brought in that Sadio money at close to, was it 40 million euros from Liverpool. So, they are so much into this. They want to get in a player who goes by the name of Victor Oshimhen to lead the line at Bayern Munich in there for you. And Napoli are so much prepared to go in and bring in Amado Broja to go in and do the needful. So, Victor Oshimhen might leave for Bayern Munich. In. He might leave for Bayern Munich. And him leaving for Bayern Munich, they have already lined up his replacement. That is Broja, who has been on loan at Southampton in there for you and performed very, very well. So we are waiting to see where this is going to develop in there for you. And let's get to this. PSG are set for more talks today with Sasulo and Ginalunka. Skamaka over a potential move. The Italian club are demanding 50 million euros while PSG only want 40 million euros. French club also hope Mauro Icardi leaves. So when Mauro Icardi leaves, that means they're left with only Neymar, 
Messi and Mbappe. That means they need another player to come in and help them do the needful. That is Skamanka. Skamanka has been one of those players that has been on the ladder. He was linked to Arsenal in there for you. And when you look at the season he played, at a side which goes by the names of Sao Sulo, he played 36 games and scored 16 goals in there for you with zero assists in there for you. That is Skamanka in there for you. So in 38 games he played, plus the Coppa Italia, he scored 16 goals. 38 games, 16 goal involvations. That is Kamanka. But he is really a kind of striker that can come in and really accept to be on the bench in there for you. Because when you go to a team where there is Messi, Neymar and Kylian Mbappe, what do you expect? You expect not to start. That's it. You expect not to start. So for Skamanka, we wait to see whether that deal really develops. But we've been told that PSG want to pay 40 million euros. But Sosulo wants 50 million euros in there for you. And the reason as to why they need him is because of this. Mundo Deportivo has come out and reported that there is an internal conflict at Barcelona between the three main men. Mbappe wants Neymar to leave the club because of his indiscipline, but Messi wants his friend to stay. So, that's fire bonfire. I decide which goes by the names of PSG, but that shows you that Neymar is going to be go out because the contract that was given to Kylian Mbappe, Mbappe was given, was given authority to decide who stays on the club and who goes. Who the club should sign and who the club shouldn't sign. So it looks like when there is a bad blood in there for you, you might find Kylian Mbappe staying at the club alone. And this is what he's aiming at. He wants to bring in players who are really going to make him better, who play and look at him as the Igwe, as the only big man at the club. He doesn't want to have any other egos in there. He wants to be the king. He wants to really get the crown of Neymar and really wear it. Obviously, when you look at those three players, Neymar still owns that crown. Messi has a crown too, and Mbappe has a crown. So that means the crown of who is the lead of the leader at PSG is divided in three or is divided on three heads. Everyone is having a piece of it. So Kylian Mbappe wants to get all the wants to get the other two pieces from Messi and Neymar to really make his crown complete and he did that by really by really negotiating a deal that made him the most paid player in the world the deal included close to 300 million euros that is what Kylian Mbappe really registered on his on renewing his contract at PSG and he doesn't want Neymar at PSG anymore that is indisciplined obviously Neymar is because Neymar has spoiled his career he put his career down in the mud because he doesn't really come in here to do the needful player supposed to do. Because the indiscipline he has, he's like a celebrity, he wants to go for modeling occasions, he wants to go to the club, he wants to be everywhere. And if you're going to be a very successful footballer, you don't need to be such a player. You need to be a different type altogether. So Neymar is really going through hard time at PSG and he's one of those prospects that we really thought that we were going to come in and really hate it bad. But he really came in from Brazil to Barcelona, played very well, and his graph, his trajectory really lowered. So I think Kylian Mbappe says, you are no longer material of PSG, we need you out. But when this battle is up, they say that when the elephants are suffer, when the elephants are fighting, it's the grass that suffers. When you see a battle between Neymar, Messi, and Kylian Mbappe, that means PSG is not at peace. And the new manager, Gaita, or Gatla, comes in at a time when he needs to really bring these three players at once. Because in his interview, while he was being interviewed <clears throat> as a new PSG manager, he said, I need Neymar at this club. I need his services. But to me, I will believe that they are going to sell Neymar. If Mbappe doesn't want him at PSG, they are going to sell him. Even if Neymar, even if Mbappe says, I don't want Messi here, Messi leaves. Because all of those are in their early 30s. Mbappe is in his early 20s. So, who of the three is so much valuable to the club? It's Mbappe. If you are to sell Mbappe right now, 
PSG can tell you get us 300 million 300 million euros but Messi you can sell him at like 50 or 60 Neymar 80 or 70 so the most valuable player at PSG is Kylian Mbappe in there for you so we wait and see what happens in there for you and your reactions are welcome to that story Fabrizio Romano came out and told us that Di Maria will undergo medical tests this week and then sign one more year deal with Juventus Paul Pogba also flying to Italy this weekend Fabrizio Romano told us that he's flying this weekend. Guess what? Di Marzio, the legendary in this game, has come out and told us that Pogba will arrive in Turin today to complete his move to Juventus in there for you. So, Paul Lebede Pogba from Manchester United to Juventus, back to Manchester United in 2016, and after six years down the road at Manchester United, he gets back to Juventus and he is arriving in Turin today because Di Maria arrived yesterday and he's really going to go ahead and undergo his medical and sign his contract as a new player for Juventus. Juventus are really doing a very good rebuild in there for you. They got away with Ronaldo, Di Bala is leaving and Paul Pogba is coming in, Di Maria. So some big egos are leaving the club and you never know Allegri might do a very good job for Juventus. They also want to get rid of Matthias Delit in there for you and they're in negotiations for Kuli Di Bale to come in as his replacement at a side which goes by the names of Juventus. Remember, Rigerio Cherini left a side which goes by the names of Juventus and he went to America. Now, we are, they, are, they are left with Bonucci to that central defense, so they want to bring in a player who goes by the names of Kuli Kali Kuli Di Bali from Napoli to come in and do the needful and really play in that central defense. But when you look at the rebuild, let's pray that Paul Pogba goes in there and does the needful. For Di Maria, I know him. He's a player who plays business. He is really a player who doesn't disappoint. He is really one of those talents that will really let you take you to the level. And however much is aging, his pace doesn't come to a slow anymore. He looks like he looks like he's 23, 24. He doesn't pace like he's a 33, 34 year old old man. So he's coming to Juventus Paul Pogba in Turin today, and his unveiling is going to be happening this week. But Paul 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 Pogba, Paul Pogba comes in at Juventus when a lot of questions have been really put on his career because he's 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 a lad he's a bowler he has the flair he has the energy he has a long pass on him he scores goals he puts assists in there for you but why has he failed to be consistent because paul Peter pogba can get you five games of consistency in a season max map max at most eight but the remaining 40 games, you look for Paul Pogba and you won't be getting him. That's my problem with Paul Ebida Pogba. That's it. Nothing else with Pogba. It's that. If he really goes ahead to improve on his game, I decide which goes by the names of Juventus, especially on being consistent. Because when you talk about being consistent, Paul Pogba is really out of that in there for you. Because he's really good. When you look at his qualities as Paul Ebida Pogba, he is really comfortable on the ball. He's dominant in the air. He wins aero drills. Receiving runs are good. Everything of him is good. He's a technically gifted player. That is Paul Ebide Pogba. But I'm asking myself, why doesn't he get us his genuine qualities and potential in every game that he really puts up on the field of play? That's my problem. A player like Paul Ebide Pogba at his level, he should be really consistent the experience he has held is enough. 29 years of age. This is the time for Paul Pogba to really show us that I'm the best midfielder in the world because Paul Pogba is a combination of Pilo, Xavi, and Modric. Whatever Modric does, Pogba does it. Whatever Pilo did, Pogba does it. Whatever Xavi did, Pogba does it. He's a complete midfielder. Complete. And I mean, it's all of those players I've talked about. All of them were short. Paul Pogba is a giant. He has the power. He has the energy. But his career at Manchester United was characterized of inconsistency and injuries. I don't know how he's really going to improve on this. We put him in the hands of the law to help him to really get where he's supposed to be. Thank you guys for watching in. Tell me what you think about these stories we've talked about. Go into the comment section below. Tell me about. You th tell me. Tell me what. Tell me what you think about 
Paul Pogba arriving in Turin today. You know that very well. Then Neymar, Mbappe, ne Neymar, Mbappe, Messi war at PSG. Then we should talk about Skamanka linked to PSG. Sasula wants 40 million euros, 50 million euros. PSG want to cough 50 million euros. That means they're really knowing that Mauro Icardi and Neymar are leaving. They're preparing for the post days of Neymar and Icardi out of PSG. Then we talked about Steven Bagwin being unveiled as a player for Ajax. <laughs> there for you. Then we talked about Ansu Fati, who is really great and returned and back in form and expected not to be disturbed by injuries again and lastly we talked about victor oshman links to bayern munich and napoli where victor oshman plays is really looking at braja a chelsea player as his replacement i go by the names of rock and david i sign out for now see you later as first video of the day yesterday we did like three today we're on a marathon and remember there is a game of arsenal that we are covering from 5 p.m skip it in here for you and subscribe to this channel that is what we are all about and you guys i think are enjoying i'm out